Hey all, Foundation Afro here to talk about Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn Part 5, the last part in the series, and it was an awesome way to end it off, I must say. My notes here. Oh yeah, yeah. Why did Kyla have to die? I was pretty sure it was going to happen. But, oh, it's just so cliche. Every single war story, the love interest dies. Oh, man. Oh. I was, I was happy it didn't happen earlier. I was worried it was going to happen, like, halfway through. Uh, that she was going to die of rape when the Covenant attacked. And it was going to get Tom to uh, fight really hard uh, in her memory. So I'm happy that it happened at the end end rather than the middle but I still was hoping she would survive but I didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, it sh that did show the hardship of war though uh, when he was forced to leave her behind they had to go she's dead he wants to stay there with her but if he does that he's going to be killed as well and he they all have to escape so uh, I guess, but then again, all war <laughs> movies do that, or for the most part. Um, it's, uh, the chief showed real leadership in this video. He said, I'm not going to leave them behind. I'm not going to leave these kids behind. Uh, I'm going to be late for the Pelican. You have to wait for me. Which shows that he could have left he, without them. They were slowing him down. He could have left and saved himself. He was risking himself by trying to save them. But that's what Spartans do. Uh, if you've read Fall of Reach, when he first becomes a Spartan, or not, I, not even before he's a Spartan, uh, when he first starts training, he runs off and does a whole mission by himself instead of doing it together with his uh, teammates and he gets in trouble for it and he learns, well, sure I can do things by myself but teams are important and I think that was reflected in this. Uh, the hunters look really good and the hunter takedown was pretty cool. Uh, he threw the grenade in there, blew it up. But I don't know if a hunter would actually go down that easily. Uh, regardless, that was really neat. Uh, Tom showed real leadership as well, Tom Lasky. Uh, which foreshadowing the leader he becomes, I think. He was willing to sacrifice himself for the good of the team. He said, I'll be the decoy, the rest of you can get away. Uh, they didn't want to do it, but he ran off and did it anyway. And I thought that was really... Uh, it showed a lot of leadership on his part and foreshadowed what he is going to become. Uh, another thing I know I was wondering about that is maybe it was less leadership and more Kylo's dead and he didn't know if there was, he wanted to still go on anymore. I thought that was a possibility, but I think it's more about the leadership than it was about that. It might be a bit of that, but I really think the leadership element uh, really shone there. Uh, multiple Spartans, not just Chief, his team, they take off their masks and they're really creepy looking, which... It shows in the books, uh, you see it in Halo Legends, uh, but I mean Halo Legends is a cartoon. When you see it with actual live people, that was really creepy. Their pale skin and their eyes <sighs> creeped me out. I. Just reaching the end here, I noticed there was a very good connection to the beginning uh, with the adult Lasky on the Infinity 
uh, watching the video, which is how it started. I thought that wrapped up very nicely, and then it shows, after that, it shows the Infinity and this big fleet, and oh, it looks so cool. It was really, really nice. I like that. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, we're all done now with Halo 4 for the Dawn, but Halo 4 is almost here. It's coming out on Tuesday. I'm so excited to play this game. It's going to be awesome. So, looking forward to that. I'm going to make an unboxing video. Uh, it's just going to be lots of fun, so look forward to that. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me what you thought. And there's just one more thing I'd like to say. Uh, for those of you who've heard of Movember, the mustache movement, it's when guys will grow a mustache in November uh, to highlight prostate cancer. So it's an easy way to show your support for prostate cancer and prostate cancer research. So any guys who want to grow a mustache this month, that would be a really great thing to do. You can shave it off at the end of the month if you don't like it, which I'm probably going to do, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, I'm Find Foundation Afro and see you next week with my Halo 4 unboxing video and my reviews of the first few levels of the campaign that I play. It's going to be awesome. Look forward to it.